finding the surface area of three-dimensional figures using nets. This three-dimensional figure is a rectangular prism. Its dimensions are five feet by six feet by three feet. The net is formed by flattening out this figure into its six faces. So we'll start with the front. The front is six by three. And this is the front. The front is attached to the bottom. The bottom is 6 by 5 and the top, which is also 6 by 5. And the front is paired with the back. So the front is 6 by 3, so the back is also 6 by 3. And finally, the top is paired with the bottom. Top is paired with the bottom. So it's six by five. Now, what we don't have, we haven't talked about the two other faces, the sides. The sides are five by three. Three feet high and five feet long. So we have to put the five by a five or three by a three. If we want to do three by three, then we go three by five. This is a side. This is the other side. then we have to find the surface area. The surface area of the sides are 3 times 5, which is 15, and there's another 15. The front is 6 by 3, 6 times 3 is 18, and of course the back is the same. The top is 6 by 5, 6 times 5 is 30, and the bottom, 6 by 5 is 30. We add them up to get the surface area. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 8 is 18, plus 8 is 26, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 3 is 9, and 3 is 12. 126 square feet because we're talking about area.